All right, guys, we are back. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. As always, it is so great to see you. And friend, learning how to take better photos doesn't have to be a time consuming or really difficult. In fact, in today's video, you're gonna learn four easy photography tips that you can put into practice right now, today, in order to take improved photos. This is all gonna take place in 90 seconds. And best of all, you can use these tips with any kind of camera. It doesn't matter whether you have a mirrorless, a DSLR, an iPhone, even an old film camera, and they're completely free, so you don't need to purchase anything. And speaking of free, I do wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, the like button. Now, the like button, guys, it's easy, it's convenient, and best of all, it's free. It takes absolutely no time to use either. Now, the like button, if you take a look at it, it is beautifully designed, it's user-friendly, and it has the ability to make the world a better place. You know that last part I just made up, but you know I'm gonna own it, I'm gonna go with it. Guys, after we run the intro here, we're gonna get a time going for 90 seconds, and we're gonna get into these four tips. So what do you say, pull up Seaton, Let's go. Tip number one, survey this scene. Don't assume that the first place that you stop to take a photo offers you the best view. Instead, survey the scene for vantage points that might offer a better view or a unique view. Move to the left, move to the right, move behind the subject if possible, get down low to the ground or get up high to change the perspective. Each of these movements is easy to make and they can help you create a much more engaging photo. Tip number two, leading lines. Now leading lines are a compositional tool that can help you instantly improve your composition of your photos. Lines help you move the eye to one part of the scene to the next, which gives the image a greater feeling of depth. It also helps you visually connect the foreground with the midground with the background of the shot. Tip number three, frame the shot then wait. When doing street photography, wildlife photography, and even sports photography, it's often best to frame up your shot that you want first and then wait for the action to come into the frame. Doing so means that all you have to worry about is capturing the iconic moment rather than messing around with the camera settings, the framing, the composition, all at the same time. Tip number four, have a strong subject. Now, one thing that will quickly make your photos look better is to have a strong subject. Now, with a strong subject, your eyes know instantly where to go to into the photo. And a strong subject also gives your photos purpose and helps tell the story that you're trying to tell. And there you have it, guys. Use these four tips to create better photos right now, today. Pretty simple stuff, right? Now let's get to the details of our current giveaway. We have three excellent prizes up for the grabs. We have the Holdfast Gear Remographer, which is a luxurious camera bag. We have the Pilotfly Atom Cube RX1 Lite, and of course, the old faithful $100 Adorama gift card. Now, as always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So get watching some of our other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the form. Now, if you introduce yourself uh, during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But as I keep saying over and over again, swing on by, say hello. We would love to see it. And friends, that is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk and how to say hello in the form, check out the description below. Good luck. All right, guys, there you go. This was, of course, another fun video. These little bite-sized little videos are fun to put together because that means less time for you in front of your computer, which means grab your camera, get out there, and put these into practice and practice more. Guys, now it's that time of the video where I'm gonna ask you to do all that YouTube stuff, which includes, hey, this video was helpful. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below. If you're currently not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, and while you're at it, smash that bell to be notified each time that we come out with a new video. Friends, I'm gonna be jumping out of here, so you get out there, stay healthy, and create your best shot.